This is a bit of a atypical example of how I might use Procreate. And here we have a existing photo of the client's house taken from a drone in a bird's eye view. We wanted to show the new addition of the deck and also the bedroom below it. The best way we found to do this is by using the existing photo and draw in the new addition in a more photorealistic way as opposed to drawing this entire picture with freehand drawing like my past drawings. And this is why it's a little different from my previous tutorials, but it's also a great example of what you can do with Procreate if you know all the tools. The workflow is actually somewhat similar to my other tutorials, so I'll give you a quick demo of how I'm able to do this inside Procreate. The first part of this illustration is probably going to be the longest and most challenging, and that's reconstructing the addition using perspective lines and trying my best to locate the new addition based on elevation drawings and site plan. So I spent quite a bit of time in the beginning reconstructing these perspective lines in red and getting everything to look right in the right place. And this would include the railing, the decking, the window, and the bedroom below the deck, which is going to be the new part of this remodel. After this part is done, the hard part is done. And we're going to color this thing with a little bit more color underneath the line work. So you'll see in the layer palette that the coloring is going to be for the siding, the decking, and the glazing. And it's going to be pretty minimal, but the challenge here is to marry this new coloring to the existing photo. So with a little bit of work and patience, I was able to communicate the existing and the new without using too many resources outside the photograph alone. And we didn't have a sketch and model and getting this photograph at this right angle was actually a lot of work because we had to hire a drone to get to this level and show the extent of the remodel in relation to neighbor's building, which is really important for this project. By the way, if you are interested in seeing more of my design process, on Lightpad, I have a free three-part workshop that you can sign up for today. The workshop are perfect if you are considering moving to a digital workflow that will save you time, allow you to work smarter and faster, and free you from a traditional office environment. I'll show you real-world examples with different applications on how I use my iPad for architectural and interior design work. You can click this link above or find it in the video description below.